Okay, here's a little uh, electrostatic motor I made using that little uh, high voltage uh, negative ion generator, 9 volt battery, and then a neon that's uh, pointing at the bottom of that foam rotor. And then over here is a grounding point, and then a little uh, aluminum feeler electrode kind of thing. And that was a fun little project. I just wanted to have something I could hold in my hand that showed this last series of uh, electrostatic motors that I was working with. And uh, I added this neon so I'd have some kind of like an indicator light. I was going to use an an LED, and I thought, I wonder if I could get a neon to work and still have the uh, rotor turn. And it does does work. Now the rotor is just a foam from a foam plate, a couple of them put together, and then these aluminum segments, there's eight of them. Let's see if I can get this to go again. There it goes. Anyway, that was just a fun, uh, uh, probably uh, the last video I'll do on this series of electrostatic motors that um, I worked with. And uh, just something fun. Nothing special. It's basically uh, a high voltage uh, Corona motor. Uh, at night you can see the Corona on the tips of these little uh, electrodes here and at the tip of that. And of course underneath here where the uh, neon is pointed there's a uh, like a plasma discharge or a, a spark discharge underneath there. And so in the dark, it's kind of fun to watch this thing. And uh, I, I, like I say, I wanted something I could hold in my hand and look at. And there it is. Thanks for watching.